Hey everybody, Christina here, Miss Mom's Tale. Uh, today I wanted to participate in the um, milk glass tag created by Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Um, I wasn't particularly tagged, but um, you know, I like to jump in on tags when I can, <laughs> when I like to. So here we go. Um, I just thought I'd share my collection with you guys and read the questions. So the first question is, how many pieces do you have? Um, I have... I have the 12 pieces that you can see right here displayed. Um, I'm still on the hunt for some, so I, I've kind of saved room, and I know you can barely see some of them. Um, sorry, there's like fingerprints in my cabinet. I don't know why. Um, the next question is, what is your favorite piece? My favorite piece is actually in this uh, shelf right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a huge fan of the hobnail, which I think a lot of collectors are, um, but I particularly love this little like candy dish right here. I don't know. I just thought it's kind of unique. I love the little um, stand that it's sitting on, and it's just really pretty. I like the scalloped edge. It kind of looks like a flower opening up. I don't know. I just really absolutely love this piece, and I found that piece at Salvation Army about a year ago. Um, number three is, where do you find your milk glass? Um, I think, like a lot of collectors, we find ours secondhand. Um, I actually found every single piece at um, thrift stores, Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, just local thrift shops. Um, I find them all the time, just random pieces sometimes. So if you are interested in collecting them, I would just suggest going to thrift stores is my best bet, actually. I know a lot of people find them at, um, you know, uh, yard sales and such. Um, you can find them that way, too. Number four is where do, wait, do you use your pieces or just display them? As you can see, I display them here in my curio cabinet. Um, I would love to have this curio cabinet out in my living room, but I have no room out there. Um, so right now it's sitting in my bedroom for me to enjoy. One day I would love to have them out displayed. Um, and I do use them too. I take them out on occasions, especially if I'm decorating for holidays or if I want to decorate a uh, centerpiece in my uh, table, I will pull out a few pieces and display them and use them as decor. So I do both. I display them in here to rest and then I pull them out to um, use them. Uh, let's see, number five. What pieces are you on the hunt for? Okay, so one piece in particular I have been searching for is a nesting hen um, bowl, I guess, class dish where the hen comes off and she sits on the nest. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It is just the one piece that I am just searching for. I love it. I want to, actually, if I find that piece, it will be displayed out into my living room because I have a space for it and I just absolutely love the way it looks and I cannot find it anywhere and I have been on the hunt for it so that is the one piece that I will be looking for is the nesting hen dish. Uh, number six is why did you decide to collect milk glass? Actually, my love for milk glass honestly started here on YouTube. Um, I've been on YouTube now I want to say for about two to three years. Gosh, has it been that long? Um, and I started following a few YouTubers, and I noticed in the backgrounds I would see milk glass, and I was so interested in them, and I didn't know what they were. Because, I mean, I had just, you know, I'd go to the thrift stores, but I just never really honestly cared or understood what they were. But I loved the way they had them displayed. And so once they described what they were, I instantly fell in love and... I had to get my hands on it. So when I started thrift thrifting more and more, um, I actually started finding it more and more and started bringing it home. Okay, number seven is, uh, do you have any tips for new collectors? My tip is uh, basically just get what you like. You know, um, you will, if you start thrifting a lot, see tons and tons of milk glass. Um, and I see it all the time and I don't necessarily bring it always home because, um, you know, there are some pieces that are more precious than others. And I just feel like if you bring every single piece of milk glass home that you find, you know, it, it becomes... Um, just cluttersome and hoarderish. Like, <laughs> I feel like you just need to bring pieces home that you'll enjoy seeing every day. So don't bring every single piece of milk glass home <laughs> that you see. Um, just kind of pick and be choosy with them. 
Um, number eight is, can you show us some of your collection? I'm showing you right now. This is all the pieces I own. Um, this piece in particular I found at a um, swap meet, actually, for just a couple bucks. Um, all the rest of the pieces were thrifted. This one right here, it looks just like a normal bud vase, um, but this is actually the only one that I have that has a mark on it. And I know I've showed this before. Um, here. You can barely make it out, but I've looked it up, and this particular piece is going for quite a bit of money um, on, like, you know, eBay and um, those sorts of stores. So, you know, I'm not in it to, like, collect them and sell them. I just want them for me for, me for now. Um, this is one of my most recent pieces that I found at Goodwill. I thought it was really interesting because I wasn't quite sure what it was. I thought it was maybe a candle holder and then a bowl. So I don't really know if there's, like, a piece missing to it. It was only 99 cents, so... I just picked it up because I liked it, you know. Um, again, all these pieces I've just, I really, really enjoy. So there you go, guys. That is my milk glass collection. Thank you, Rachel, so much for including everybody um, and for making this tag because I think we all, as milk collectors, just want to show our pieces off, you know. Not everybody um, knows about milk glass, and I think, you know, it's a really fun hobby to start. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.